Hey everyone, welcome to my brand new podcast, Coffee and Books with Brooke. So today I'm going to be reviewing a book called A Chance in the World. Here it is right here. A Chance in the World by Steve Palmerton. You can purchase it on Amazon for 12, I think it says 12.99. And this is a book that really hurt me um it hurt me because i felt so bad for steve pemerson and it, it's just a tough uh touching book it's about child abuse of course so if you know who i am i am a child advocate for child abuse and i i don't like it when children are abused <laughs> so yeah i've interviewed child abusers, I mean, child abuse survivors, I've interviewed them. And I read books based on child abuse because it, it, it helps me help children who are being abused, if that makes sense. So the significance of this book, of this title, is a chance in the world. Because Steve Pemberton was a foster child and he was put through foster care system and he was abused. And the meaning of this title to me means that he just wanted a chance. He just wanted a chance in the world. He wanted to be like other children, you know, have loving families, have mothers and fathers who are there for them, you know, a mother and a father who are there for them, who loves them, who cares for them. Um, I wouldn't have given this book a different title because this title is exactly, exactly what it means if you read the book. I, I highly recommend you read this book. Um, the main theme of this book was a, okay, so he is a foster child and he grew up within the foster system. He dealt with this particular family where he was abused so badly that it it really hurt me. I've read this book four times and I've even watched the movie, which I want to show you all the trailer. And here is the trailer of this book. One second, let me find it real quick. This is the trailer. I gotta find it real quick. So this one right here is the trailer for the movie, I mean for the book, A Chance in the World. No one will ever want me, especially not my own mother or father. I thought you might like these. These are for the boy who likes to read. You got no idea why this Mr. Sykes he wants to see you this morning. No, sir. Your placement test numbers are great. They're better than great. Now, have you thought about the whole other Pay us your scholarship. Steve, look at it. Yeah. Get you out of that home. For Hazel and his followers, it was never a question of if they would find home. It was simply a matter of when. And that was the review. I mean, not the review, the trailer of the book. Uh, well, the movie. And so I was extremely, extremely touched by this because it, it really... It really hurt me to see that he was being treated this way and that other children are treated this way. 
and that's why I became a child abuse advocate. Uh, the time period of this story was around, I think, around the 90s. He is fairly young, like around my age. So I, I would say around the like late 80s, early 90s, like 90s area. So, yeah. Uh, a quote in this book that stood out to me was that he just wanted a chance at the world. He just wanted to be, he just wanted a mom and a dad, you know, he just wanted a family, a family to love him, treat him nice, like every child, you know, and to be put in a foster care system and in a foster house where he's being abused and beat and uh, pushed down and stabbed. And he even had to go to the hospital. Like, why? Why would you do that to a child? I just don't get it. I would compare this book to a child called It, where he was abused. The only difference is in a child called It, he wasn't even given a name. They, His mom just called him an It, and it was his birth mom. And the difference is Steve was a, a orphan, a foster child. and. I I just don't understand what goes through a person's brain who is a child abuse, like dealing with child abuse. I just don't understand, like, why you would hurt a kid. And I would like to understand what a child is going through, like feeling alone, feeling like they have no one, feeling like there is no chance for them in the world. And... That's one of the reasons why I wanted to start my nonprofit to help children like Steve. Well, like, well, Steve was a child. Now he's an adult, but I want to help children like him that was like him. And he has written another book. It's called The Lighthouse Effect. And I also have that one on my list to review. And it's about people that help people like him, children like him. I. Uh, he called it the lighthouse, lighthouse effect because the lighthouse affects everyone. It shines a light. It's, it's bright. I love I love it. I love it. I can't wait to read it. Uh, I just purchased it on Audible, so I'm going to be reading that book and reviewing it. So I think that his goal in this book was to give you an intake on child abuse, how how a child is abused what goes through their mind why they are abused which i don't i don't think he understood why because there's no reason why just don't abuse children there's no reason to abuse children and i feel like the message he's trying to send is don't hurt children treat children good learn from children teach children that you know, there are loving people out there in the world. And Steve Palmerton came across a bunch of people that helped him. And he ended up becoming very successful. He became, you know, a father of his own. He's married with a beautiful wife of beautiful children. And he's happy. And I'm happy for him. Um, my opinion of this book is that everyone, everyone should read this book. Everyone. I would highly recommend it to everyone, especially child abuse survivors. And I would make I would recommend child abuse survivors to tell their stories, to get their stories out here, like Team uh, Steve Palmerson did. Um, Pemberton. I don't think I'm pronouncing his name right, but get your story out there. Everyone needs to hear your story because child abuse has to stop. It has to end. It, it it's enough. It has to stop. Um, this book was very satisfying to read and it was, it, it upset me that years, years later after Steve had moved on with his life and became, a, became the person he was supposed to be because that's what God made him. His, the, the foster care mom contacted him. Why? What was her reasoning? Why? To try to bring him down? To try to break him? No. It didn't show that in the movie, but if you read the book, 
yeah, she ended up calling him and was trying to break this little boy. No, he's loved and he has a loving family. And no, it, I, I just feel like she tried to contact him to harass him, to make him feel lower than, but it didn't work. And I would have just hung up on her, but Steve handled it the way that he felt in his heart to handle it. And I respect him for that. If I would talk to, if I could talk to the author, I would ask him, has he helped other child abuse survivors? Like, has he went through and seeked out children who have been abused and spoke with them, like, at conferences and, like, go to different schools and different foster care places and spoke with children who are, who was in his shoes? Like, that's what I want to know. I want to know, has he done that? And how has he helped the foster care system? You know, since he grew up in the foster care system and he knew how it was and how it was growing up with different foster families who were abusive and evil and mean, then I want to know. I want to know, like, how he has helped. With that being said, I hope you all continue to follow my page and look out for more book reviews. Um, the next book I will be reviewing is also a book from Audible. I love audiobooks and even Kindle books. I will review Kindle books. I also review indie authors as well. Uh, the next book I am going to be reviewing is, uh, if I can find it, it is going to be the Secret. I read that about four or five times, and it's definitely changed my point of view on things. So, yeah, can't wait to share that with you all. But in the meantime, check this book out, A Chance in the World. And it's about Steve Pemberton. And I hope you all watch that movie. Please watch the movie. Tell me your thoughts. Share your thoughts. Share your story. Get your story out there like Steve did. I hope you all have a great day and thank you all so much for listening to Coffee and Books with Brooke. Have a great day.